The Johnson extended vertical wall mount components consist of one mast pole with a location hole, one lower bracket with a location pin, an upper bracket, and U bolt clamp assemblies. Step one, pre-assemble the lower bracket using one U bolt clamp and two flange nuts to the mast pole. Ensure the location pin on the lower bracket is correctly aligned and inserted into the hole of the mast pole. Secure the lower bracket to the mast pole by tightening the two flange nuts on the U-bolt clamp. Note, the mast pole can be installed to the outside, option 1, or inside, option 2, of the upper and lower brackets. The U-bolt clamps must be inserted and assembled correctly with the upper and lower brackets according to the chosen option. In this installation demonstration, the mast pole will be installed on the outside of the brackets. Step 2. Pre-assemble the upper bracket, U-bolt clamp and two flange nuts to the mast pole. Using the U-bolt and two flange nuts, finger tighten them to secure the upper bracket and before tightening the upper bracket, measure to make sure that there is a minimum clearance of 300mm from the bottom bracket and that both are aligned to sit flat against the wall. Step 3. Position the assembled mount onto the brick surface and ensure the upper bracket is not set within the top three courses of bricks of the wall or within 300mm from any corner of the wall including window frame recesses and the bottom of the mast pole is more than 1.8 metres above ground level. Using a marking pen, mark a drilling hole on the brick and not the mortar on one end of the upper bracket. Then drill the first hole. Note that the masonry anchor must go into the brick and not the mortar. Step four, reposition the mount against the wall and insert, then secure and tighten the first masonry anchor. Step five, using a magnetic level, adjust the mast pole so it's vertically leveled, then again, Using a marking pen, mark then drill the second hole of the upper bracket. Again note that the masonry anchor must be set into the brick instead of the mortar. Insert and tighten the second masonry anchor. Step 6. Drill the remaining two holes on the lower bracket, once again noting that the masonry anchors must be set into the brick instead of the mortar. Secure the lower bracket by inserting and tightening the two masonry anchors.